hello students welcome back to our science class so in the previous class we were studying about second chapter from physics the name of the chapter was motion so let us quickly recall the topics what we have studied in the previous class so in the previous class we studied about the types of motions that is translatory motion and rotatory motion later we went towards rectilinear and curvilinear motion later we studied about when do we tell that the body is in rest and when do we tell that the body is in motion so if the body is not changing its position with respect to time it is called as rest and when a body is changing its position with respect to time it is called as motion we studied about the types of motion that is translatory motion rectilinear motion curvilinear motion and circular motion so this uh, is the simple flow chart how the types of motions are classified that is translatory is classified into rectilinear curvilinear and curvilinear into circular motion later we study about what is periodic motion non periodic motion and multiple motion so periodic motion in periodic motion we studied about oscillatory vibratory next non periodic and in the last topic we studied about multiple motion that is three different types of motions are having in a single individual vibrating particles today we are going to study about the last topic from this chapter that is simple pendulum when a small and a solid brass bob is suspended from a rigid support with the help of a piece of a light string or cotton thread then such an arrangement is called as simple pendulum so when you have a solid ball which is made up of a brass and if this is suspended or if it is tied with a cotton thread such type of arrangement is called as a simple pendulum now what are the terms which are related with this simple pendulum first is point of suspension that is the rigid support from where the pendulum is suspended is called the point of suspension okay that is the rigid support from where the pendulum is suspended is called as the point of suspension so this is a rigid support you can see the rigid support here so this is a point where this pendulum is suspended so this point is called as point of suspension so this point is called as point of suspension next is effective length the distance between the center of a pendulum bob and the point of suspension is known as effective length so this is the point where the pendulum is tied and this is the rigid support point or point of suspension the distance between this is called as effective length okay next is we have mean position when a freely suspended pendulum is at rest then the position of the bob is said to be mean position of the pendulum so if the bob is not moving if it is in the midpoint we call it as mean position next is extreme position the position on either side of the mean position up to which a pendulum oscillate is called the extreme position now when you start oscillating the pendulum or if you just take this pendulum to and leave it just vibrates like this we call it as pendulum okay so it is like a pendulum of a clock so the distance where it goes the maximum distance where this bob goes and again comes back 
So, this position is called as extreme position. Next is what is amplitude? The maximum displacement of the bob at a pendulum from its main position on either side is called amplitude of the pendulum. The maximum displacement produced by a bob from this main position to this extreme position on both the sides is called as amplitude. Okay. Next, what is frequency? The number of oscillations completed by a pendulum in one second is called its frequency. That is in one second, how many times this box will complete the oscillation? One oscillation means it should start from here. It should come to the main point. Again from the main point, it has to go to the other point and comes back. So, this is one oscillation. Okay. So, in one second, how many number of oscillations say Bob produces is called its frequency. So, this is about a simple pendulum. Okay. So, you people have to complete this topics as early as possible. So, this was the last topic from that chapter. Fine. So, go through the last video as well as this video and if you find any doubts, so please come back to me. Okay. So, till that, have a good day.